The Beaches Podcast is going to give you everything you want to know about a beach before you go there. I hope you enjoy the show. Be sure to check out our website, www.sandee.com. Without further ado, let's get into the show. All right, close your eyes. Imagine this with me. Crystal clear, blue water, the kind that just shimmers, you know, and like powdery white sand beaches, palm trees swaying in the breeze, feeling relaxed. Sounds pretty idyllic. Right. It's that classic beach escape. Yeah. But what if I told you we're ditching the usual, like the Caribbean, the Med, and heading to Nigeria for this beach trip? I can already see the raised eyebrows. <laughs> Right. Nigeria isn't exactly the first place that comes to mind when you think beach vacation. And yet that's kind of the point of these deep dives, right? Yeah. We're all about uncovering those hidden travel gems. And trust me, Nigeria's coastline is a gem waiting to be discovered. What's fascinating is that it often gets overlooked, but that works in its favor. You get this incredible sense of discovery that's hard to find in more, well, let's say, touristy spots. Exactly. So no brochures this time. OK, yeah. we're going off the beaten path. What makes Nigeria's coastline so unique? What's the big draw? Imagine untouched beauty on a grand scale. We're talking over 850 kilometers of Atlantic coastline. But it's not just one kind of beach either. You've got lagoons, mangroves, these pristine stretches of sand that just seem to go on forever. And all of this is interwoven with the cultures and traditions of Nigeria's diverse ethnic groups. OK, you had me at untouched beauty. Paint me a picture here. What's the landscape actually like? Are we talking like pure relaxation vibes or is there an adventurous side to it, too? You get the best of both worlds, honestly. You've absolutely got those picture perfect stretches of sand, perfect for just, you know, soaking up the sun, reading a book. But then you have places like Bar Beach in Lagos. Oh, I've heard of Lagos. Yeah. Yeah. And Bar Beach is known for its lively atmosphere. You've got food vendors, music, even a bit of a surfing scene developing there. And if you're the adventurous type, well, the coastline is dotted with these hidden coves and secluded beaches that most tourists never even know about. See, this is what I'm talking about. Hidden coves. This is why I love a good dude. Yeah. deep dive totally changes your perspective on a place. But you also touched on something else that really intrigues me. You mentioned diverse cultures. For someone who admittedly doesn't know much about Nigeria beyond maybe some music, maybe some food, what's the cultural side of a beach trip there? Well, you hit the nail on the head when you said diverse. Nigeria is incredibly diverse, culturally speaking. There are over 500 ethnic groups, each with their own unique traditions, their own stories, and they all sort of weave together into this rich tapestry. For example, the Yoruba people have a particularly strong connection to the sea. Oh, interesting. Yeah. They believe that Yamoja, the goddess of the ocean, protects fishermen and brings fertility. Uh -huh. And you see this reverence for the ocean reflected in their ceremonies and festivals, many of which are held along the coast. Hold on. Ceremonies and festivals right on the beach. That's amazing. So it's not just the landscape itself. It's like you're actually experiencing those traditions firsthand right there on the sand. Exactly. Just imagine this. You're paddling a dugout canoe. The sun's filtering through the trees. You're going through the Niger Delta. It's this intricate network of mangroves. You're surrounded by the sounds of nature. Monkeys chattering in the trees. Wait, monkeys? Okay, now you're just showing off. Yeah. Did not have monkeys in the mangroves on my Nigeria bingo card. And then you emerge from this tunnel of green into a clearing. It's a small village, and the local community welcomes you with open arms, eager to share their customs, their food, and these incredible stories of the sea that have been passed down for generations. It's that level of immersion you just can't get from a resort. See, this is what it's all about for me. That unexpected adventure, that connection you just don't find in the usual tourist traps. Yeah. Makes you want to book a flight right now, doesn't it? That really does. So even if Nigeria wasn't on your travel radar before, hopefully this deep dive has, you know, opened your eyes a little. Because it makes you think, what other hidden treasures are out there just waiting for us to, like, ditch the guidebook and discover? That's the beauty of travel, isn't it? You never know what you'll find. Absolutely. All right, everyone listening, time to start planning those off-the-beaten-path adventures. Who knows what you'll discover? Until next time, happy travels. Thanks for listening to the show and be sure to tune in next week for your favorite episode about some of the best beaches and beach information in the world.